Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm super excited because it's the VMAs and it wouldn't be possible unless my friend Kara was doing my glam. So what's your Instagram again? Makeup underscore Kara. Yeah, so make sure you guys follow her. She does amazing makeup tutorials and obviously she does amazing makeup. So she did me and I'm super excited to show you guys everything that she used on me. And honestly, she did it pretty quick because I don't like sitting here getting my makeup done. I'm like not that person. I'm like, hurry the f up so I can get moving. All right, guys, so let's jump right in the tutorial. Kara is amazing. So we're starting off this tutorial with Nicole's foundation and primer already done. We used the Laura Mercier primer and we used the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation in shade 7.5. Next, I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer, just concealing her under eyes. I'm also concealing her eyelids as a nice base for the eyeshadow, her forehead, and down the center of her nose. Then I'm just going ahead and blending it out with the brush that we use for her foundation. Next, I'm going in with the Rimmel London Insta Duo Contour Stick, just contouring her cheekbones, forehead, and down the sides of her nose. I also like to contour around the lips. It makes the lips look extra full once it's all blended out. And then once again, just blending this out with the same brush we used for her foundation. For the cheekbones, you just wanna make sure that you blend upwards to lift the cheeks rather than bring them down. To set her face, I'm going in with the RCMA No Color Powder. This is my favorite setting powder of all times. And I'm focusing a lot of the product underneath her eye and underneath her contour to bake while we finish the rest of the makeup. For eyeshadow, we're using the KKW Beauty so fire palette first i'm starting off with this pretty brown shade it's a perfect transition shade and i'm just applying it with a large fluffy blending brush next i'm dipping into fire with a smaller blending brush and just focusing this product on the outer portion of her eye Before I move on, I'm just switching back to the blending brush and the transition shade to kind of buff the colors together and make sure there's no harsh lines. Next, I'm dipping into the darkest shade of the palette. And again, just focusing that on the outer portion of her eye, covering less space than I did with the shade Fire. Now I'm dipping into the lightest shade in the palette and it's the perfect bone matte shade to highlight the brow bone. So I'm just putting a little bit of that on the highest point of her brows. Now I'm going back in with the Too Faced Born This Way concealer and cutting her crease. I'm just using a really tiny concealer brush to make sure that it's super precise. Once you have the concealer laid out, it serves as a perfect sticky base for your shimmer shades. So now I'm going in with Fiery Eruption and um, applying it in a packing motion. For the inner portion of her eye, I'm using the shade Golden Ember and then giving her her signature winged liner. Now I'm using my current favorite mascara, which is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist. And now I'm just brushing away all of that setting powder that we had resting on her face. It is great to leave it there while you're doing the eyeshadow because if any fallout falls down, the powder will catch it. To bronze up her face, I'm using the Laura Mercier Bronzer. To highlight, I'm using Gilded Honey by Laura Geller. I'm highlighting her cheekbones, down the center of her nose, the tip of her nose, her cupid's bow, and also the inner corner of her eye. For blush today, I'm using the shade California by Benefit Cosmetics. And to fill in her brows, I'm using Anastasia Dip Brow. For lashes today, I decided to try something brand new. 
I saw these Remy Hair Lashes by Ardell in the drugstore and they looked gorgeous on. For her lower lash line, I'm just using the same shades from the So Fire palette that I used on top. And then I'm lining her waterline with a gel liner. For her lips, I'm using the Laura Mercier Lip Pencil in the shade Vibes. And pro tip, if you put your index finger right on your chin and then stencil your line, you'll only ever overdraw your lip the perfect amount. I'm filling in her whole lip because we need to make sure this look lasts as long as possible. And then I'm topping it off with Lolita by Kat Von D. And last but definitely not least, Nicole is finishing off this look with her Snooky Balm in the shade Dark Raisin. This is just going to give her the moisture that she likes on top of the matte lip products that I applied. For her hair, she had already had it styled, so I'm just teasing her ponytail, adding a little hairspray, and throwing in a cute rhinestone clip. And now I am setting her face with some MAC Fix Plus and that will complete this look for today. So thank you, Kara. I You're love welcome. my look. I feel so cute and pretty. You look so well. And off. yeah, I cannot wait to go. So thank you guys um, for watching. Comment below. Let me know your favorite makeup look on me. I feel like the, the eyeshadow is the best. I mean, everything's the best, like my foundation, everything. I don't look old and greasy and tired like I'm a mama three. But I think the eyeshadow is my favorite part. Me oh, too. and of course the Snooky Bomb. Just saying. Alright, comment below, like my video, and subscribe. Love you guys. Bye.